there is no rookies in the 11, 12 class. Now, that's not saying that there's not going to be ways around it to build rookies into these products. Uh, moving forward, in limited, past and present, and gold standard, they'll have redemption cards. So in the past, what we noticed with these redemption cards, they actually get classified as XRCs, and they're actually going to get this year's class and next year's class. Uh, some examples of products, if you want to go back, they actually had a really strong brand equity with these rookie redemptions. Um, I know that the word redemptions is not something that sings very well with you, but these are planned redemptions and they'll do well. Mark my words on this. Okay. Uh, starting with 1213, all the products moving forward will have both classes. So now you're talking about not just 1213 rookie class, but 1112. So Kyrie Irving has already had a good track record. He's going to give all the products for next year. And, and also, next year's draft is considered to be one of the best drafts since probably the LeBron draft or even going prior to that, the 98 99 draft. And guys, I'm sure you guys already heard of Anthony Davis from Kentucky, slated to go number one overall. Uh, Andre Drummond, who had an okay season at Connecticut, but still considered to be a highly touted draft pick because of his size and his abilities. Uh, Harrison Barnes out of North Carolina. Austin Rivers is one in debate whether he goes to the draft or not, but if he does, being the son of Doc Rivers, uh, he would be definitely a, a sought after uh, rookie card. Michael Kidd Gilchrist, Jared Sollinger, Jeremy Lamb, just a few of the names we're talking about. There's even more impactful players. On the okay, so, anyways, in terms of basketball, we're going to have a breakout session tomorrow. We'll be back at noon. And uh, any questions you have on basketball, definitely we'll answer them. Or you can just look for me or David Porter, who's a brand manager in basketball, and we'll answer any questions you have. NHL, uh, 2011, 12, it's actually been a blessing. I want to tell this one to be actually a, a not so highly touted class of rookies. Uh, Ryan Nugent Hopkins came out, and came out with guns blazing and just started the world on fire. You can talk to Mr. Wayne Wagner and ask him about the performance of uh, Ryan Nugent Hopkins in his neighborhood. Uh, Gabriel Lenskog, Adam Henri, uh, Louis LeBlanc, I mean, number one pick from two years ago for Montreal Canadiens. How do you tell it? Watch out for his cards. I mean, we saw P.K. Subban, what he did for the marketplace, and Louis LeBlanc is a, a French player uh, based on Montreal. Uh, Sean Couturier out of, out of Philadelphia. Philadelphia has a bunch of rookies this year. Corey Hodgson, uh, now on Buffalo, and it's done really well. This year's, this year's draft, the one name that everyone talks about, I mean, I, I'm sure you guys have the slogan, suck for luck, at a lot of teams, and a lot of NFL uh, teams. And basically, in the NHL, there's also t-shirts that says, fail for nail. Nail Yakupov is touted to be the number one pick. And I'm sure you'll hear more about these names tomorrow in the uh, NHL, the NHL PA hockey lunch. Um, nail, and also number two pick, Mikhail, Mikhail Gregorenko, is considered to be mirroring the whole Ovechkin mountain draft. So that's how big this draft is. Okay. And then 2012 score, it's got launched prior to the season. Uh, this last season, we, we launched score after beginning the season. We heard loud and clear from a lot of retailers that they wanted products on shelf before the season starts. Okay. Short sweet. I'm going to, Ben Eckler going to come up to discuss uh, baseball and football. We just had uh, today uh, regarding. Uh, um, USA Baseball, um, the first draft we'll see in our 2012 run cuts, um, uh, scheduled for October. Um, really, I mean, it's really, really enhances that product. Um, it's a it's great product, as you'll see in, a, in about a week for the 2011 prime cuts. Um, so we're really excited to have USA Baseball starting out in prime cuts in 2012. Um, another thing that we really worked hard on once we got the uh, PA license is to reach out to all those organizations where we can add the content and work with the inventory that we have. So you'll see with the CMG Worldwide um, to add guys like Pugier and Jack Robinson, Ty Cobb, Robert Mornsby, I mean, you just you name it. It's a great, you know, great group of guys to work with in the material that we have in inventory. Um, National Baseball Hall of Fame, we took a trip up there and saw a lot of the uh, archives and it's really, um, Need that we'll be able to do a product at, called Cooperstown um, that's just going to show a lot of stuff that a lot of the you know a lot of people don't see um, to actually go down and see the archives and images of um, 
just some of the equipment that they have. Um, another thing, you know, since we had kind of a baseball license since uh, 2005, um, you can imagine all the inventory that we had during the Donner's years that uh, PNP acquired. Um, we're using that to build programs, and you'll see that in Prime Cuts coming out. Um, I'm really excited about it. Um, I've worked on all the Prime Cuts programs, and this one has just really got a lot of quality stuff in it. Um, a lot of material now that you can't buy the jerseys or, or any of the stuff now um, that we got back then. So it's going to be a really, really good lineup, and you can see some of the names there that. You know, Jim Thorpe and um, Shoeless Joe Jackson. So it's a really nice, nice lineup. And we've been working really hard to um, just acquire all the autographs. You know, Stan Usual, King Griffey Jr. First time for King, King Griffey Jr. in any of our products. So that's, that's our baseball right now. You'll see Prime Pets in about a week. You'll see what's it right after that. And then we'll be you know, just working through our 2012 programs. All right, um, NFL, no lockout. Um, that's going to make a big difference, especially with photography. You saw that last summer. A lot of the, the combine shots that we had to use because there was no man camps. Um, and the only images you really saw of the uh, rookies in, in any kind of year was the rookie photo shoot stuff. So um, it's really going to make a big difference this year to be out in front of that. Um, Prestige is going to have all those guys in. in their uniforms versus you know the combine style. We use the best photography there. Uh, working more toward autographs versus the game use stuff and you know game use stuff. Um, just because you know the autographs are really um, pushing the products right now. Um, we also as you saw the prestige stuff, uh, limiting the parallels and coming up with just the unique photography that uh, kind of just allows us to be more flexible and using the stuff that we do have, and so that it looks like every card has its own unique spot um, within the forms. Um, we're not going to do that with all the program. You know, like certified, you're still going to see the mirror golds and the regular parallels that you're used to seeing. So we want to make sure that uh, we don't lose out on those uh, inserts that and parallels that the collectors really want, uh, mirror golds, mirror blacks, and stuff like that in certified. Um, we're really excited about this year's rookie class for football. I mean, Andrew Luck, RG3. Um, Trent Richardson, uh, Justin Blackman. Well, we can see two quarterbacks starting the season. Um, Indianapolis, Washington should make a big, big um, difference in sales this year. You know, combined that with the new direction we have, uh, eliminated a lot of the parallels and putting all these unique cards, it should be a great year for uh, 2012 football.